Oh, honey. Yeah. Hello, 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 everybody. Yes. Hello, you guys. This is your Jimmy with Spider Mama. I'm Ya Aranya. Welcome, welcome. Hi, guys. Good to see you guys. I missed you guys on my day off yesterday, but I had a really good day off. As you probably saw, as you hopefully saw. <laughs> it's been so long. It's me. Sorry, I'm just filling with my <clears throat> pop filter here. Some strange stuff going on. Hold on. There we go. Uh, yeah, I had a nice bath. I had. <clears throat> Sorry, I just I just had a snack. <laughs> I had leftover kimchi pancake. You guys love the cover. Thank you. Thank you. I worked really really hard on it. I hope I hope. I did the song justice. I hope I did the, a good job on the video. I hope you guys liked the uh da, 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 da. the instrumental, which I did all by myself. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry, I got like a little bit of phlegm because I was just having a snack. I was eating leftovers. Sorry for being gross. Uh, yay! Yay! I'm glad you guys like it! <laughs> Is it okay if you watch it five times? I myself have watched it like... 25 times, so you're definitely fine. Uh, the leftovers I had, kimchi pancake, but it came with like this like... Like vinegar dipping... Spicy dipping kind of thing, so it's got my throat a little bit spicy. <coughs> Hi! <laughs> Um, today's stream is gonna be fun, I think, hopefully. Well, first of all, let me tell you guys that I have ASMR later tonight, so... Uh, please look forward to that. I'm trying to take revenge... Uh, on the lullaby ASMR that I did that ended up... Scuffed because my fan fell over at the end. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna be doing that later tonight. But for now, we're doing art. Uh, I got a lot, a lot of samples together to show you guys. I'm trying to see if there's anything. I saved like a lot of things and I loaded a lot of things into A Sprite, but I didn't load everything into A Sprite, so I'm just trying to see if there's anything that I really wanted to show you guys that I did not manage to put in. I think we're good. I think I got all the most like interesting stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think I did. I think I did. <clears throat> Um, anyway, let me say hi to everybody first, and then we can get into it, we'll get right into it, and we can do some, have some comfy art time. It's raining here on Ami Planet. Some, uh, quite heavy rain, actually, but it's very nice. I had a nap in the rain. Well, not in the rain. <laughs> I had a nap while it was raining, uh, a little bit earlier, so I'm just still a little bit groggy. Um, and I also, uh, my cat, my cat lay on my belly. It was super comfy. <laughs> Super, super comfy. Alright, let me say hi to everyone and then I'll show you guys what I got going on. Um, hello to Bansu and DJ and Gildjan and Kelpie and Akatsuki. Oh, I have coffee too! <laughs> hello Akatsuki and Mephi and Electronic Pig and Heart. And hello to Koala Slime and Big Guy and uh, Mouse and Star Oxide and Iron Stag. And hello Lurkers and Vlog Watchers too. Uh, hello to Conky and uh, Jamal and Shino and Marv and Scup and hello to Peppermint and Gudare and Psycho. Uh, hello, Sumptuous Potato and Matthew and Hero and hello to Railgun. Only my Railgun can. Hello, Goldheart Dragon. Hello to K7 and Ria and Pyri and Megu. Hello to Gento and FC and Nisimomo and Aeon. And hello to AX and Hinge and Golden Slaughter and Indecisive. And Hussar and Matt and Kyoku and JD Assassin and Phenology and Finite Set. Ohamiya to Arcana and Macau and Temporal Paradox. Hello to Yona. And Riding Soul and Bran and Super Condor. Uh, Ohamia to Phoenix and hello to Blossom and No Fun Zone and Papita and Cookie. I still don't know if that's how you say your name. It's Q O O Q I I. Cookie. I like Cookie. Can I call you Cookie? 
Hello, Lamar and Red Ranger and Hill E and Rune. And hello, Kudo Kudo Kudo. Hello to my little Roni and Esprisa and Rosa Canyon and Cat Buzz. Hello, Cryosite and Mole and Guile. And hello, Liquid Cat. Hello, Arazio and Vic. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, hello, Criminal Imagination and Migraine and Chaos Muffins. I'm so glad you guys like the cover. Thank you. Uh, hello, Zavolisk and Roketo Cat Doll. Um, and Sir the Pixel and Optimal. Uh, hello, Zircon and Cecil and Magical Crap. And Podstorm and Nugget and Tahoe. Hello, Tahoe. Uh, Tahoe is the is the person who made my starting screen and my stingers did an amazing job with those. So if you like pixel art, definitely check out Tahoe. Tamago Tahoe on Twitter. Um, hello, uh, William and Talon and Tomo, and hello to Uncle Red and uh, Flash Tyreed and Eki and Tetera and John Halo. Hello to Sneaky Alt and Plena. And by the way, you guys, the cover's pinned, so if you want to listen to it and you haven't listened to it, you should go listen to it. Uh, hello, Victoria and Absolute Link. And Elusive Man. Hello to Dharma and P Taco. Hello to Dimas and Super Sunny. And uh, Binary Mind and GTF and, and Tony. Uh, hello to uh, da da da. Uh, da da da. Uh, Aiza and Roxu <clears throat> and JR. Hello to Rabbit Bunny Man and Smoker Mega Drive and Riley and ADTR and Griff Graphics. Hello, Bakayasha and Moises. Hello to Synapse and Bubon. Hello, Joker's Hideout. I was a bit off topic, but congrats on the great cover. No, you're good. I'm still. I'm still, you know, I'm still, I'm still all, you know, right in the high of a really nice cover release yesterday. Thank you guys. Uh, hello Mitchell, hello John Zero, and Movic, and Ark, and Chris, and Genji. Hello you guys, thank you so much for coming today. Um, <clears throat> do you guys want to see what I got going? Present day. <laughs> Present time. <laughs> like I'm going on an East Bay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's take a look. There's the fantastic stinger that, that Tahoe made, by the way. Okay, I got all kinds of stuff open here. So let me show you guys what I collected out of all the all the stuff I found. And then I'll show you guys my sketch. So, there's this cute little... Uh, none of them are... They're all safe for work, by the way. I sacrificed myself. And, uh, you know... Found some safe ones. <laughs> but yeah, this is like a cute Alice in Wonderland one. This is called... This game is called Dalk. Um... This is, I believe, you know... This is a... Safer work game. Not all of them are, are sketchy, you know, games. <laughs> Found an article with all the rusty girls. That's safe. That should be safe, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What they end up finding? Oh, I don't know. Nothing. Uh, okay. So, as you can see... I don't know why I added a bunch of extra colors, but as you can see... We got... Like, for some reason, sometimes it has, uh, like, the black colors twice. <laughs> But, um... We got one, two, three, four... Uh-oh. Hold on. I did something wacky. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I might have white twice, too. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen! Yeah, it has white twice. That's why it's counting as seventeen. Uh, but it's actually 16 colors. So some of these... It amazed me that they were actually, you know... 16 colors. I was looking at some of them and I was like, there's no way that it's gonna be. But it, it, it always was, so... This is cute. I love the, like, lobster and, like... I don't know why there's a lobster. And, like, 
god, I guess. <laughs> and cupcake and carrot in the background. Pretty cute. This program is a sprite. Yeah, really nice dithering. And then we have... <clears throat> this cool number. Once again, we got only 14 colors here. It blows my mind, you know. For some reason, it's like hard for me to believe, but it is, in fact. Only 14 colors. Or sorry, 16 colors. Pretty incredible, huh? Pretty crazy. And then, here's this one. Got like a nice little border background thing. Also 16 colors. You can see I reused some of the colors from like... The hair in the building. Um... And stuff like that. The blouse. Uh... You know, in the sky and on the fence. Um... They did a really, really good job. Uh... With all that. Very, very cute. They do an amazing job <clears throat> with the, you know, the color, like... What's the word? The color... I don't know. <laughs> Reminds you of someone I know! My good friend Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Hello Kaiser, glad I made to the stream, especially as a new viewer. Plus, but wanting to see how one approaches the PC98 style of pixel art. Anyway, well, welcome. I am... Uh, I'm a beginner to this, so I have not... I've done pixel art on stream. Um, and, and, and whatnot, but I have not... Uh, I have not tried specifically doing stuff with... 16 colors. Now, I have done some streams where I've tried limited colors, like four, f four colors or six colors or something like that. Um, hello, El Desmo and Spico. If I didn't already say hi to you, I may have. <laughs> I may have. <clears throat> uh, and you know what? I may have even done, I may have even done one bit, uh, you know, uh, aka, you know, bl just black and white, um, before. On stream, but I've never tried to do something with, you know, so many colors and yet so little and so detailed. Hi, Spashes! Um, here's something that kind of inspired what I ended up drawing today. It's a cute little fairy. Pretty ding dang cute. A pixie, as it says. Uh, and this is from... It just says cat. <laughs> Hi, Smashes and Maggie Loon. This is Doki Doki Pretty League. Um, I really... I picked this one because, you know, the art is like... The art is nice, but what I really liked was this, um... Background bit here. You see what I mean? This, like, pattern. So I'm thinking of maybe doing something like that for... For, for my drawing, because... Some of these have actual, um... Backgrounds. But then some of them have, like, you know... A border and then something going on around. I'm not really good at like backgrounds that are like places. Yeah, right? It's like Amikor. I love it. Um, but yeah, you can see, you know, this blue and this pink. They used it in this girl here. And then this pink from the bat is, is the same one as in this girl's hair here. So, pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> it, it would have taken a lot, a lot of work to get something like this. Made it. Well, you know, not not the baseball, but how cute it is, and you know the stripes, and uh, hi Winter Hell, all these sports ball activities. I already have a sketch, by the way, so um, I already kind of decided what I'm gonna do now. This one I thought was really amazing. You know, lots and lots of detail. You can see there's like kind of like a they got kind of like a blurring effect going on with the lines for the skin. Super cool. Are these references using a 640, 640 by 400? I have to assume yes, because... They're from... Actual PC-98 games, but I didn't check. Yeah, this is 640 by 400. This one... 640 by 400. If they're not, it's, prob it's probably... I got them from Moby Games, so... Uh, this one I thought was really cool. I really liked the, like... Paint kind of... Spread... Thingy on the background. I like the detail in the eyes to the blue lipstick. Yeah. Thought that was super cool. And then we have this one. It's like a space... 
angel kind of fairy kind of thing. Uh, I like the way they use the dithering hair. It's got kind of like a color pencil or like marker effect. This is from uh, something called, by the way. <laughs> the biggest reason why I included this one is because... Uh, how was it my role? It's from something called Chakra de Chuck Norris. So for some reason, I don't know if this is supposed to be Chuck Norris. <laughs> I don't know what... I don't know what this situation is here, but that's what it's called. <laughs> don't know why. Yeah, Chakra de Chuck Norris. Very interesting. No, it doesn't look like Chuck Norris, but maybe it's like a female Chuck Norris. <laughs> I sparkle Chuck. Alright, so... Now that we've seen all that... Um, I will show you guys my sketch. My sketch is still very, very rudimentary, okay? Uh, I started doing a background, but I don't think I'm gonna use it, the background. Looks like Fire Emblem's Minerva. Let me look. Maybe they stole it. <laughs> Hi, Lizard Wizard and Darth Azimar and KZ. Oh, yeah, it's not exactly like her. They definitely didn't steal it, but I see what you mean. It looks kind of similar. Cool. You like this design? Yeah, this is super cool. They did a really good use of dithering to make it look like there's way more colors than it is. Like, for example, uh, with this really kind of like dense dithering. Hi, William Cyborg! Uh, they made it kind of look, you know, when you're looking from afar, it kind of looks like a totally different color, but it's like a dark blue and like a burgundy. But then when you... It, it looks purple when you, you know, look at it from afar, kind of thing. So they did a great job with that. Mm hmm So... <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to create anything as amazing as this. I will be referring back to these for reference as I as I go. Um because you know I'm gonna need I'm gonna need lots of ideas. <clears throat> uh but let me show you my sketch. <laughs> I had to resize it, okay? I had a little bit of a problem. I forgot that this needed to be 640 by 400. So I ended up having to resize it. Uh, I'm gonna change everything to the uh, black. So leave me a second. So yeah, not, mine is not as sophisticated as the ones that you've seen. And then the background, I think I'm gonna do something totally different. I think I'm gonna do like a border type of deal. <clears throat> but yeah, I was really struck by like the bunny suit lady. <laughs> so I wanted to try. <clears throat> Let's change that one to white. And then that gets rid of the background. So... Uh, well, first of all, actually, let me change all of the black now that I've just done that. Let me change all of the black to a blue or something like that so that I can go over it and outline it in black. Uh, and then I'm gonna make a new layer and then we're just gonna get started, I guess. I'll start with an outline. <clears throat> and then we'll see how far I get. We can, like, work on the composition and stuff in terms of what kind of stuff we're gonna have around the border and stuff like that. Or if we maybe even wanna make a title or something like that. A title to our, you know, fake... Uh, game. <laughs> right? So... We'll see what happens. Yeah, we got the fluffy spider legs. We got... We got a lot going on here, so... Hold on. I gotta... Uh! There's a couple bit more spots that I didn't manage to. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, so... Let me just start and, uh... <laughs> Hi, Fuzzy Ducky! And Taman! And hello to Blau and... Uh, Mr. Poundcakes and Daryl! Uh... Alright, let's get started. Yeah, there is a lot of, like, bunny suit stuff. I only put one of them here, but I found a lot and I really liked it. So that's where I took inspiration from. 
Uh, hi, Jean Mark and John Nook. I didn't want to do... I want to make it a little bit, you know, uh, you know... Sexy, because... PC-90 games are usually that way, but also I didn't want too many folds in the clothes because I thought that might be really, really complicated to do. Uh, hi, Wukamiku! Uh, but yeah, my, my sketch is a little bit scuffed because I had to... I ended up having to resize it, but... Let's try to... Make an outline. Oh, uh, where's my pen? Where's my tablet pen? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> okay, so... I'm just gonna follow along to the contours. The hair is a little more in your style in the PC-98. Yeah, I kind of tried to make it like retro anime style, but... It, it's hard. The face, I tried to keep that way, but then the hair is... Yeah, I don't know any other way to draw hair. <laughs> The reactions to the preview would have been very different if they saw your legs. Oh yeah, I didn't put I didn't put the legs in the uh <laughs> in the uh <clears throat> members preview that I showed you guys. Oh this is not black. Hold on. But you know they weren't all like super retro looking. Uh some some of them are quite modern looking. I'm probably gonna have to, you know, end up changing a lot of these line colors, but we'll see. <clears throat> Remember when I showed art of Ami by Ami to my mom after having a listen to Ami sing? She said that's exactly how I imagine they're looking. Aww. <clears throat> One of the Rusty girls had Ami ish here. Oh yeah, I remember that. I do remember seeing that. Um, by the way, I'm not decided on the kind of color palette I want to use yet. I will do my best to, to stick to 16 colors. That's... that's the long and short of it. I'll do my best. <laughs> we'll see... we'll see what happens. Okay... Use lots of purple and lavender. Well, I kind of have to, don't I? Because... That's the color of my hair. That's what makes this stuff kind of complicated because... My hair has multiple colors. My eyes have multiple colors. That's another reason why I was kind of thinking of keeping the background pretty simple because... Um... <clears throat> Otherwise, I'm afraid I'm gonna like run out of colors, you know? Classic black for the bunny suit or what about a deep red? I'm not sure yet. I was thinking, uh, black. Yeah, I'm really excited for the dithering. I actually finally figured out how to make dithering brushes. So I'm looking forward to doing some of that. Anyway, I hope you guys had a really nice, uh... Day yesterday. And I, uh, as I... Had my day off. I definitely did. I hope you guys liked the little surprise, too. I should be using the Bezier line. I was not actually planning on having, you know, a cover done yesterday. I, uh... <laughs> I, um... I'm not like a complete freak who is like, I shook the house. I'm not like a complete freak who is like, I need to have everything. I, uh, for uh, every day I take off, that's like outside of my normal days that I take off. I need to have something prepared for every one of those days. That's not the situation. I just happen to have this in the works, and then I got some burst of inspiration. And hi, Brielle and Alan. And I just managed to get it all done really, really quick. So I was really happy about that. Happy with how it turned out. Because originally I was going to outsource the MV. You guys know that I said that, um... After my last cover... <laughs> I was like, I'm never gonna... Do my own MV again. And then there I went doing my own MV again. But it didn't take very long. Maybe like two hours. Uh, hi BB Desk. Didn't realize you were a spider. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. Been working on pixel art recently on a smaller scale, like custom Pokemon sprites. Oh, I did a stream like that actually. Uh, 
Did my eyes turn on? Did it work? I think it worked. Subcontracting is a pain, especially for like a cheapskate like me. Oh no, Bay City was really easy. It was just a, a, an animation and then some text, you know? So that one was very simple. But I had the uh, art done for that for a long time. Hi, Lennox! Yeah, and there's a nice little web pattern in the in the wires. I love. Love how it turned out. I was really insecure about like the instrumental and I still kinda am. <clears throat> like it I think I played well, you know. Like I think the I think the playing of the guitar and bass uh, you know, stands Stands while I oh my I think I was like just concerned about like the mixing I guess but I don't know I'm a little bit of a perfectionist kind of freak so <laughs> any particular reason I was just I've never mixed something with that many like actual instruments and that much guitar like you guys have heard my well hopefully you've heard my Jolene cover the idea of Dolly Parton. Jolene, if you haven't, you should listen to it. But that's, you know, that's me playing on one guitar, and then, um, there is some um, cajon as well added to it, and then that's it. It's just two things, so, uh, you know, pretty dang simple. Uh, but it's my first time kind of trying to do something that was. That complicated, so... Did you make all the instruments for the cover? Like, do, do you mean like, did I play... All the instruments? So, there was like, uh, you know... Strings... And, of course, I cannot play... Strings... <laughs> You know, I mean, I can play some strings, but like guitar, I can't play like violin or whatever the heck that was. So that one was uh, synth. And uh, hello, Matt. This is a sprite software called a sprite. Uh, it was unplu very unplugged and vocals forward, which is perfect for somebody who wants. Focus on Ami singing. That's what I wanted. I wanted it to sound like very kind of raw acoustic type of thing. And uh yeah, so that was added. Uh the guitar and the bass I played myself. It's many layers of guitar. Hi Fino and Mr. Front. Feeling my lines are not all that smooth but I'll have to I'll have to you know kind of tidy them up after it's okay uh hello Sano what gear do you use display or normal pen tablet I'm using a regular pen tablet very very old like probably over 10 years old very old tablet <laughs> and then also there is shaker uh, but then uh, the other synth that I added was uh, what is it? Like bass drum and like a rim, like a rim, like what's it called? <laughs> like that. Yeah, some of them use anti-aliasing. Like this one has some on the lines. <laughs> Uh, this one has some... I think pretty much they all do. This one does not. Uh, I guess it kind of does. This one does not. <clears throat> Which I've never done, so... I will do my best. I'm not at all skilled in anti-aliasing. Yeah, it's fine if it's a little crunchy, but... Never hear the argument for the pro aliasing team. To be honest, I don't even know what the word means. I just know what it looks like. <laughs> but 
it's pixel perfect. Why do you need anti-aliasing? Because it just makes everything look a little bit more smoother. You know, I'm so used to the Bezier tool in uh, Microsoft Paint. But I'm kind of out of my element with the Ace Byte one. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It works differently than I would expect. But we're getting there. <coughs> I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get a uh, sketch done for this, so I was just going to convert some other art into, uh, you know, PC-98 specifications kind of thing, but I managed to get something that I like, so that's what we're going with. Well, you love pixel art, but can also appreciate it blown off in a fuzzy CRT like it was meant to. Well, yeah, that's how that's how it was intended to be <clears throat> to be displayed. Yes. Can talk more about anti-aliasing. I don't know. I don't know much about it. You know, I don't even know. Like I said, I don't even know. I just know what it looks like. <laughs> I can show you guys examples again. Uh, so like, uh, let's see here. So you see how there's kind of like some lighter colors around the line art on the skin to kind of make it look a little bit softer. That's anti-aliasing, whereas on this one, they don't have that. It's just black lines and then the shading. You know. <clears throat> I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> uh, hello, BB Dust. Thank you so much for the super chat. Wait for pixel art. Can you even use anti aliasing? I think you have to do it manually. Uh, listen, if you got tools, you should use them. That's what I think. I'm not like a purist in that sense. But, I mean, there's not... It's not like there's any anti-aliasing tools in a sprite to begin with. So, I mean, you kind of do have to do a manual. There's, like, blurring and stuff you can do, but... I, I just think that kind of thinking is kind of silly, you know? Because then it's, like, all or nothing. It's like, okay, well, if you're gonna say that, that we have to do that manually, then... I guess we have to, like, place each... Individual pixel, you know, like we can't use like line tools and stuff like that. You gotta go, no, 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 you know. <laughs> Hi, Silver Myth. Cutest Ami Cat sketches yesterday. Oh, yeah, let me let me show you guys. You think they mean that there aren't really pixel art anti aliasing tools? I mean, there definitely is. But. I'm pretty sure you're talking... A lot of people talk about, like, rules to pixel art and that you have to do everything by hand and do everything. Draw all the individual dots and stuff, but... I don't feel that way. Let me show you guys. Uh, thank you, BB, for the, uh... For the uh, super chat again. Uh... The program I used has it, but I have to turn it off. Adds too many colors. Doesn't it fit the aesthetic of the Pokemon pixel art. Yeah, I mean, if you're trying to, like emulate a style specifically, then of course you wanna get as close to that as possible. And if uh if the Pokemon sprites don't have it then don't have it. I'm just gonna show you guys the um cats I did yesterday. Cause it's just little doodles. I don't normally post them on YouTube, you know. Hi Requiet! People saying you have to do everything by hand clearly haven't tried dithering. I mean, I've done that and I use like, uh, you know, paint for most things. I've done dithering by hand. You can definitely do it, but... Uh, hi, Nier. Here we go. We got Ami Cat scratching to get into the office. <laughs> we got Ami Cat wanting belly rubs and we got Ami Cat frightened by a rogue cucumber. <laughs> That was your guys... <clears throat> your guys' ideas. That you gave me on Twitter, by the way. Oh, sorry to keep clearing my throat. 
<coughs> Hold on. Here too. I just haven't opened it yet. <coughs> oh my gosh. Alright. Uh, see you, Shino. Thank you for stopping in. Appreciate that. Yeah, I love the Ami cast. I think they're so cute. I big Simp in Eldorado. <coughs> oh my god. Spicy stuff, that's probably why. Alright. <clears throat> Oops, I, that's not the... <laughs> that's not the curved tool. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a nice day today. Hope everyone's nice and relaxed. <clears throat> I have predicted nice and cozy vibes for today. Because of the rain and I think I think we're pulling it off. Hi Caboose, this no, you didn't miss too much. We just looked at some examples and stuff. How much of my pancake was left? It was like half of it. I was so happy. I remembered. Although my fridge has kind of been behaving strangely. Everything is like it's behaving more like a freezer right now than it is a fridge. And I don't know why that's happening or how to fix it. I already checked the temperature and, you know, it was... Like, I checked the dial and that was normal, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> Amiya, um, Phoebe, thank you so much for the super chat. Anyways, back to work. Going to work. Alright. Good luck at your work. Very sleepy day today. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I find my art streams really calming and cozy. I hope so. It's because I don't... It's because I don't, uh... You know... Scream during art streams. Not normally, anyway. <laughs> you can be affected by how full or not it is. No, it's nothing like that. Return line might be clogged with ice or the vents. Oh. Can I, like, is that something I can, like, look at myself? Or do I have to, like, call somebody? <laughs> I could probably find a way to jump scare myself in Ace Sprite. You're not wrong. Remember when I played that My Little Pony game? <laughs> and the pony scared me. <clears throat> Your fridge got frosted up in the back too, you just need to pour hot water. What? I don't think that's... I don't think that's the problem. Oh, the clapper! I totally forgot about the clapper. Luna game. Luna game. What are you saying? <laughs> huh? The time you point out you're humming and you decide to hum loudly, wake us up. Hum, 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 hum. <laughs> minutes on YouTube. All right, I will look it up. Thank you. It was doable by a pain. Aw, shoot. What? What do you mean yes? Don't just say yes if I ask you what you're saying. <laughs> Pretty bonkers. What people figured out they could do with pixel art in MSX2, PC88, PC98 eras. Look at stuff like Dead of the Brain or Police Knots. Yeah, I mean, we already looked at a bunch. A really, really impressive examples. And also, I, um... I, uh... Played... A 
PC 98 game recently. I played Rusty. If, if you haven't seen that and you're interested. Very good, sir. John, look, you're so confusing to me right now. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. I feel like a crazy person. <laughs> Hello, Chiaki. Uh, did I see that the announcement of Tomb Raider 1 and 3 getting remastered? Oh my god, don't even get me started. <laughs> don't even get me started. No, I didn't. Though. To answer your question, I did not watch Nintendo Direct. I'm just sick of remakes, really. That's all. I'll try to be a hater, though. <laughs> Metal Slater Glory for the Famicom when you came. The game is some amazing pixel art. It's more like anime than a game. I'm gonna check it right now. Metal Slater Glory. I always thought Castlevania had really nice sprite work. Sick of remakes, but you don't like new games either? I never said that I don't like new games. That's a common... That's a common... Uh, misinterpretation of my, you know... Philosophy that people often do. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is cute! Yeah, really cute anime style. <laughs> By nature, all... What? Okay, BB, that's kind of a weird thing to say, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you don't hate new games? Once of all, there's game stream. I mean, that doesn't mean I'm gonna play them at all, on stream or at all. I just, you know, they're not for me, typically, but that doesn't mean I hate them. Not at all. Every once in a while, there'll be something that I'm interested in. I'm just, you know. Hello, my pop. No call. Of, yeah, no call of duty. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh, oops. <laughs> I just have a very specific taste in games and, you know, the things that I like and the things that I don't like. <coughs> Vic, you're getting timed out, okay? Please review my rules. You break them fairly often, so this is a warning. It's a remake collection, but another quote was... Wait, what? What does that mean? Another code. Are they putting the are they putting the Starker's code? In Tomb Raider at long last. They should. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I'm not trying to be scary, you know, but something's gotta give. Oh, another code. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought <laughs> I thought they were gonna make a <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> what was the first one called? Just yeah, code. <clears throat> PC 98 they need codes for that? No, they did not. <laughs> goodness, 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 goodness. Where is my mind today? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Alright. Uh. I'll just shut up. <laughs> it's kind of all the PC 98 art that I had to look at. That's why. <clears throat> bum 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 Silence is preferable to bonkling. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. <laughs> completely looking at screenshots and nothing else. Any updates on finding breakfast food or delivery tomorrow? Uh no. Sadly no. I don't I don't I think my breakfast for supper is not going to come to fruition. A tasty breakfast, probably. True, true, true. <laughs> I could eat you guys, but potatoes. I want potatoes. Oh no, that's a freaking cute nose. Look at that. Breakfast and a regular dinner. It's just that you, breakfast for dinner hits differently, you know. It won't be the same. It won't be the same. <clears throat> my snout. Where is this nosy speak of? You guys, you can't do that joke on me because my nose is actually visible. Take your take your no nose jokes to another another VTuber. <laughs> Pizza, sure. Hello, fancy pants. <laughs> you guys can make fun of my big forehead. You guys can make fun of. Hi, Leandro. Akatsuki, thank you very much for the gift and membership. Please say thank you to Akatsuki if you got that. Uh. Hello, strong will pay. The idea of pizza for breakfast is one that isn't too greasy. You know, my mom used to make a, a, a quote unquote breakfast pizza, which was like, uh, hi, Fiona! Which was like, uh, what was it? It was Pillsbury, uh, Pillsbury, yeah, pizza. Hello, Rat Myers. Pillsbury croissants. Oh, croissant? 
like like a whole thing and you would like the like the package of them uh good night parasite thank you so much for the sweet words about my cover <clears throat> uh so yeah you do that lay it all out in a pizza pan or you know it could be like a cookie sheet or something too and then <clears throat> Um, you would put like egg mixture on, um, on top of that. Croissant? <laughs> Hi, Master Alucard. <clears throat> My humble upbringing? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were not, uh,. My family did not have a lot of... A lot of dough, so to speak, when I was growing up, so... We, um... We did, you know, food hacks like that sometimes. <laughs> oh, wow! El Denzo! Thank you so very much for the 20 gifted memberships. That's so generous. Thank you, Fleecy. Thank you. If you got one from El Denzo, okay. Thank you, 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 thank you. I had to count on my fingers. Get some like let's get some buckles, 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 buckles going for that. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Badon badon. All right, then a little bow tie. Gosh, this is a little bit complicated. I mean, it's not really, but um, when I was younger, we had this thing called we would have uh for supper sometimes. I'll tell you some of the my most like comfort food, but also some of the like goofiest suppers we had when I was a kid. Hello, cat. Um, so. Um... Amiya Aranya. We would do these things called English muffin pizzas where it would be... Uh... English muffin. Cut in half. Amiya and then there would be, uh... Pizza sauce on both of the halves. And, uh... Hot dog. Hot up hot dog. <laughs> Hi, Q50. Uh, and uh, like a craft single, like American cheese, sliced cheese. Uh, and then that would be done up in the poster oven. And we would get, you know. Couple of those for, for a supper. Hi, Shadow Reaper. My nap was great. Thank you for asking. Uh, what else did we do? Amiya Aranya. My uh dad, if my uh if my mom was like away for whatever reason Amiya on a, a trip with the you know. With your family or whatever. Um, your lunch break is over. See you, Sparkle Cat. Um, my dad would make uh, Kraft mac and cheese with uh, hot dogs. Once again, hot dogs on the side. <laughs> that explains some of the strange pizzas you order. I don't order strange pizzas. That cuisine of forbidden food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was epic. No, it's awesome. I mean, sometimes I still have that to this day. And then, um... We would sometimes have... A variation on that. Sometimes would be... Uh... Craft dinner and... Fried bologna. <laughs> Did he squirt in the ketchup? Uh, no, I put the ketchup... I mean, we didn't have, uh, you know, ketchup with our 
you know, KD. But we have the hot dog. Catch up hand bit. Invented yet. So it was like that, yeah, it was like that. Yeah. <laughs> it has dinner right in her name. So yeah, sometimes to this day I'll have, you know, fried bologna and, and, and craft dinner. And um What else? Trying to get some other classic yeah. suppers. Uh hash brown casserole was a good one. That I also still love to this day. Basically, uh... Fried bologna and fried spam aren't bad. No, no, it's good. I love it. <laughs> uh, hash brown casserole. I'm pretty sure I told you guys about this before. But basically, uh... Frozen hash browns. Cream of chicken soup. Uh... Why is beanie weenies? <laughs> Cream of chicken soup, uh, and then cheese. There'd be cheese in it as well. And then on top, there would usually be like a... Like a crust of like Ritz crackers. <laughs> um... We had spaghetti a lot. Spaghetti was another one like that. Um, hello Robert. I am drawing myself. Today. Ritz crackers are really nice, nice and buttery, you know, they make a great crust for stuff like that. You wanna try making spam musubi and we were surprised by how expensive spam is these days? Potted meat is expensive, it's crazy. Hot dish, that sounds nice. I mean, I like that name for it. Um... You made two burgers with sloppy joe sauce and mozzarella cheese, mmm. <laughs> Hamburger Helper, yes. We had a Hamburger Helper a lot. I love Hamburger Helper. Still to this day. Um, we ate a lot of... Uh, do you guys know Minute Rice? It's not... It doesn't take a minute. It takes five minutes. I don't know why they call it Minute Rice. That's a scam. But you can like make it in like the microwave. Or in a pot. Uh, I still like to eat that. It's pretty good. <laughs> That's like boiling bag rice. No. So it was part boiled, so it's like already cooked. And then they dried it out, and then you would uh, just boil it for, for, for just five minutes in some water. The rice would soak up all of that water, and then you just fluff it up with a fork, and then you'd eat it. And uh, sometimes we have just that. With like butter and soy sauce. <laughs> uh, when I was really young, I had a lot of. I have a proper rice cooker, yeah. When I was really young, I had a lot of uh, cereal for supper because I was a very, very, very picky eater. Still a little bit uh, of a picky eater, but not nearly as bad as I used to be. So I would have. Um, the clever buckle ate before steam. I'm sorry, this always happens. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of a nice nostalgic subject though. <laughs> yes, clever buckle always gotta eat before the Ami stream. Um, hi Cloudy. Little grandma Ami demands her giant bowl of cement toast crunch for dinner. Sometimes, okay, here's what here's what would happen. Um, pasta with butter, cheese, salt, and pepper. Yes, 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 yes. Actually, whenever I went to my grandmother's house, sometimes I would go to my grandmother's house when I was like sick, you know, uh, when I was having like a tummy flare up, and uh, she would make me that. But specifically, it had to be penne. <laughs> You're full on coffee. A bug on your coffee? Ew, I'd be so sad if that happened. I mean, so goal is just like people with eternal hunger. No, no, I just... It's just fun. I see her. It's just fun to talk about. Something anyone, everyone can talk about, right? Hello, Toto. Your friends told you there's Alice soft respect going on here. Well, we looked at lots of different... PC-98 art, if that's what you mean. 
<laughs> Some really cool stuff. Um, yeah, it had to be penne, but no, when I was really young, it was just cereal. And I would... Uh, for school lunch... I was quite dizzy. Apologies, apologies. For school lunch... Um, I would... You guys know, they used to have these, like, small boxes of cereal, like, snack size. Hi, CD Link. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It's like a personal box of cereal. The mini boxes, yeah. Hi, Chester! Um, so... I used to bring those to school for lunch. And, uh, no, not a cup, uh, yeah, a yeah, box. Yeah. Um, and Rudu, thank you so much for joining the membership. I really appreciate that. And hello to you. Okay, some buckles going for Rudu. They still have those, I think. I think they do. Um, so I would get that for lunch. And I would get, uh, my parents would give me, you know, uh, a, a dollar. And, uh, I would go up with my dollar. And I would buy a carton of... A little carton of milk. Uh... In the cafeteria. And I would put the milk... You, those ones... You could... They had like a perforated opening, right? And then you could just open the, um... Uh... What flavor milk? Just regular milk. <laughs> and then you open the plastic. And then you can just pour the milk directly into the plastic. And just eat it right out of the box. That's what I used to do. Uh, because I was a very, very picky eater. <laughs> Sometimes it didn't open right, yeah. And then when my horizons broadened... <laughs> don't call me cute because this is such a crazy story. A whole dollar for a small carton of milk. I mean, I, I don't think it cost a whole dollar actually, but my parents would give me a dollar and I would go buy the milk, you know. It's probably like... 50 cents, 75 cents, something like that. Off-brand school milk as well, you know. How'd you discover the PC-98? What PC-98 games are your favorite? I haven't played that many yet. I pretty much only played Rusty. And that's kind of how I found it out because... I was doing a video game, uh... Music? Listen along and someone suggested music from Rusty and I found out it was a Castlevania clone And I really love Castlevania so I had to try it <clears throat> Um, you spent the 10 cents left over on 7-Eleven candy, right? No, I would give it back to my parents <laughs> And then later on when I was a little bit less picky I would, uh, my, my dad would make me like tortilla wraps with some like cheese and meat and uh Ranch dressing. <laughs> uh, Toto, thank you so much for joining the membership. Please get some more buckles going for Toto for my new buckles today. Yay! <laughs> you be down for Toho one? I could do Toho at some point. It might be hard to concentrate on the game and you know chat. But hi, Onji Nama. <clears throat> Tortilla with just cheese, microwave and roll. Oh my god, yeah, I did that all the time. Yes, yes. I also had uh, tuna melts very often. <clears throat> tuna melts, although my grandmother made the best tuna melts. I think she just like... Loaded it up with cheese. <laughs> That's why it was the best, probably. Now I had cheese on your tuna sandwiches. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta. Okay, you need the tuna salad. It was rusty. That is the base choice, so we should go pour outside the PC near because it's pretty solid. It is pretty solid, yeah. If the whole one isn't as brutal as the later games, that can be neat to watch. Yeah, we can try it. I'm down. Uh, yeah, so, uh... Tuna, tuna salad, and then... Uh... 
put that in a tortilla wrap and cheese on the top, wrap it all up, microwave that, and you got yourself a tuna melt, baby. <laughs> So, you know, nowadays... In a tortilla, or you can do it on toast as well. I know all about, you know... Like, poor people. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, then... Uh, my dad made a business with my grandparents, and... They did really, really well, that took off, and then... Uh, later on, we were so... We were so, you know... We weren't so, uh... <laughs> What's the word? We weren't so down on our luck later on, so... And my mom, uh... My mom babysat for a long time for, for uh... You know, other, other people in, in our family. So my parents very, very hardworking. I respect them a lot. Cause when your dad got that rolling cocktail, my dad's not Tom Cruise. <laughs> then I got cable, yeah. Actually, I think we probably... I think we, we... We got cable, but I don't think we had it for long. I think we got, like, satellite TV. And then we got, like, you know, digital cable. Like me, well, you know, I try, I try. <laughs> I do my best. It's hard, but... Curvy, yeah, baby. You guys know I love the big... I love the big hips. <laughs> <laughs> you mean your dad didn't make bathtub liquor? I'm pretty sure that's like highly illegal. <laughs> I don't think my parents ever did anything uh, shady to make money. Lara's gonna get jealous. Fine, good Lara. <laughs> Impressively <laughs> illegal. Yeah, it's like very illegal. <laughs> Only if they find you. No, no, my my parents were uh not like that. And now they're doing excellent and they're, you know, uh they're, you know, Building their retirement house and, and and stuff like that and they're doing really well and I'm really really happy for them. They're good people, so right back you guys sorry hold on
that time of me is sorry guys. I'm not gonna miss my throat today. <laughs> I had to uh, do some big throat clears. I'm back. Sorry about that guys. Was there anything too important? I mean, it wasn't anything scary, if that's what you're asking. I just needed to, like, do some big throat clearies. <laughs> I'm okay, yeah. I don't know. I think I... Something went down the wrong tube today, maybe. When I was eating. Hello, Nugget. When I was eating my kimchi pancakes. Yum. How do I draw this fold right? Uh, a stray buckle. I got a buckle in my throat instead of a frog. <laughs> <coughs> uh, okay. Um, this was a hand I was having trouble with. I think it's fine though. Maybe. I think I can make it work. Portions look okay. I was like, um, well. how long did it take to create my cover? Uh, well, new way. You guys know if you've been closely following my hints. Um, hi, luminous things. I uh, I've been working on the instrumental for a number of months, but it, you know, not constantly, of course. I was working on it on and off, type of thing, and uh. Looking cool. These hips might be a little bit overly bodacious. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, no, not it. It was not an energy. I've just been like, I mean, I pretty much outright said it at some point. I think, but uh. I gotta say, you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you guys will. I'm sure you guys will be able to handle it somehow. Uh. Yeah. So I think I outright said it at one point. Uh. So I was working on it for a while. So I at that skill you are crazy. Well, I'm I'm using the uh you know PC ninety eight resolution, so yeah, I think a lot of people figured it out. And then I gave hints on Twitter too. I was like uh I was saying like uh one of the hints I gave was today, right now. <laughs> Which was like, you know, the present day, present time thing. And I love how it turned out. Uh, I almost didn't use that instrumental though. I almost like... Tried to like get one that was closer to the original version. And people keep complimenting me on the arrangement, by the way. I did not do the arrangement just to be... Just to be 100% crystal clear. Um... Boa actually has a uh, an acoustic arrangement of that song. If you never heard it, you should listen to it. I just kind of like emulated it exactly, to be honest. <laughs> I just copied that arrangement because I really like it. It's got like a softer, like more sorrowful feel. Don't know what arrangement is. So let's say that there's a song like 
Poker Face. Let's say Poker Face by Lady Gaga. And someone covers it and they cover it on piano. They're gonna have to change some things about the song. The chord progression and structure will be the same, but they're gonna have to change some stuff to make it sound good on piano. So they will be arranging it for piano kind of thing. Right. Or like, uh... In the cover I did with Mio, the, uh... Imawa no Shinigami. Mio did the, uh... Harmony arrangements in the bridge. So those harmonies were not originally there. So she arranged them. She, 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 like, designed them. Does that make sense? I can't see this finger. Yeah, meal, meal is crazy. Uh, makes sense? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, by the way, I didn't... I was like, you know... I was into, you know... <laughs> I was like... One person's song of my both so she had to work on it. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Some of the stuff was... Rearranged it. Um, you just used an or you just did an original instrumental that used the existing structure. I recreated the instrumental. I, I recreated the acoustic version of the song. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't arrange an acoustic version myself. I changed some things, so I guess you know. I changed some things to make it a little bit simpler. Uh, so I guess, in a sense, I kind of arranged it, but... Not in, like, an impressive way. <laughs> uh. I even... If you listen to the original acoustic, uh, you know, version of that song... I even had to cut a little bit of, like... Stuff at the end because I like couldn't figure out how to do it, but it's pretty dang close. Pretty dang close. I think this is looking okay. And then I did have my bath last night, in case you guys were wondering. I had mimosa. That was delish. Hi, Max Day. And I'm all exfoliated. When Guardian Mimosa, it was very comfy. Yeah. So comfy. I mean, baths always seem like a good time. I gotta give you guys my expert uh, bath tutorial at some point. Oh yeah, I got lightheaded. I think the water was too hot. This is the problem. You thought I bathed in the mimosa? No, I didn't bathe in, <laughs> in the mimosa. I drank it. And it was lovely. So, I had a nice day yesterday. Is there anyone on the planet who likes drawing hands and can just do it perfectly the first time? 
You like the body shape in this art? Looks natural? Wait, what does that mean? I feel like it does not at all. <laughs> what kind of freaks in? Your hero academia mangaka. Oh, he loves drawing hands. Are they? I don't know. Uh, I don't know anything about that person, but even AI hates it. Well, yeah. Poo poo on that. Uh, my hero academia hands. Let's look at his hands. Oh, they're okay. The only thing that's coming up is just like... This person who is just like... A ton of hands. <laughs> <laughs> this person is a lot of hands. Everywhere. I guess I do like drawing hands. Well, there you go. <laughs> He's just covered in hands. Shigaraki is the main villain. Oh, he looks cool. I like it. The manga art is a lot, but yeah, I'm looking at the anime. He's a handyman. Hey. <laughs> oh, yeah, that looks super cool. Creepy. Creepy, creepy. I mean, I would like drawing hands if I was good at it. I'll make your character scab proof. You think? Let me look. I'm gonna look on scab right now. Search that character. Shigaraki. My scab has still not been accepted yet, by the way. So I'm sorry for the member scab delay. I think I see this character, but... It, <laughs> they don't have all the hands. Just one hand. Like, just a normal amount of hands. <laughs> oh. <sighs> uh, yeah, I don't see any with all the extra hands, actually. Huh. Interesting. Oh, I'm so young. <laughs> turn into another shrine maiden. I don't know. I mean, I just told them to like draw whatever they want, basically. So... It shouldn't be... Actually, sometimes they get cancelled without... Because it doesn't notify you when they're cancelled. So let me check that that didn't happen. And I'm just actually still waiting on it. No, it hasn't been cancelled. It's still pending. So we'll see. Usually, the, it says usually they respond in... Oh, it doesn't say anymore. So, I don't know. They have 30 days to respond, so it could be why. Normally, I choose people who... And I did this time, but they took it off their profile, which you can do. It'll tell you, like, their average response time and stuff, but maybe they didn't want that kind of pressure, you know? <laughs> fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Okay, uh... Let's move on over here. I'm taking so long to do the line art. What? How did I get green? When I was practicing with an existing piece of art... The other night, I was like, zooming. You always gotta add like an extra... 150% to the time when I'm streaming. You've only seen a few hours... Artists with the estimated times? There's a lot of them. I usually only pick artists that, that have that estimated time, cause... I like instant gratification. Well, not instant, but... As instant as possible. Hi, Lyrical Curry! Uh, I 
yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh... Do these lines in the hair... I only ran Amiya 98, that's right! So, what kind of game this would this be, you guys? What genre do we think? I guess it's probably like a gambling game, huh? Like casino type of thing. Maybe I should have done the line art off stream. Clubhouse type game? What is that? Cabaret club management? A mad game? No. Visual novel? Eh. Gambling or dine and dash? Interesting. A fighting game? Huh. Spicy Mad John game? No, it wouldn't be spicy and it definitely would not be Mad John. Because I don't even know how to play that. And anytime I go to like. If. I, on a rare occasion, okay, that I go to like a retro game store and I see. Um, and I see. Famicom. Or Super Famicom games. And I get super excited, you know. Oh, Aliens? I like that. <laughs> I get super excited and I look at it and they're like all Mahjong games. Of different varieties and it makes me so angry. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be spicy, not. It would be, you know. Not spicy. <laughs> Got any favorite casino games that aren't ball tour flip? I mean... Not really. I feel like... I kind of feel like... Hi, General Dang. Uh, Dang. I kind of feel like... I don't know if... Casino games... Are they like... <clears throat> Are there any that are like games, games that are fun to play or is it just like you spin a wheel and then see what happens kind of thing? I guess there's like card games. Maybe Blackjack is probably the only one I actually know a little bit how to play. <laughs> yeah, Blackjack is the only one I can think of, to be honest. ba -dum. Your best left as mini games, yeah, I kind of agree. Some buckle chips, I love that idea. I mean, PL, you're about to sell a couple of Super Famicom games yourself. I hope it's not my job. <laughs> Always disappoints me. Find a pile of Super Famicom games and bam, Mahjong. An action side scroll, kind of like Ballast. I mean, platformers are probably. I know this is like very, you know. This is like, uh. Basic AF. <laughs> but I love platformers. I think it's my favorite genre. He knows just a fast paced lottery. Oh, I played the Neopets version of that. <laughs> Guerrero Kino. How scared would I be carrying this plane? Oh, this is just a prop. 100%. The cup is like glued on. As the kids say, yeah. Everyone knows that about me. I'm a basic... I'm a basic meow. Okay. Mm. 
<laughs> you think PC ninety eight could handle a game like Nihonko? I say, imagine leaving other early choke on the physics. Uh, I mean, I haven't played that many PC ninety eight games to say for sure. But I would imagine it could not handle it. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty. I'm sure there's some sophisticated ones. Typical Ami Chisin trends by playing only the most popular games. Well, not that, but I mean, I do like my, you know, pumpkin spice lattes. Isn't that always something people say? It's basic. <laughs> 3D platformers? Only like. I only play like old ones, like Spyro, Crash Bandicoot. Stuff like that. Oh, yeah, I love pumpkin spice. I got some. I love putting it on whatever. Mihara Kalase was originally intended to be an X6800 game. Oh, that's fascinating. I mean, pumpkin spice is just like cinnamon and nutmeg and like delicious stuff. What's not to like? Pumpkin everything is good, no bias, because I was born in best month October. Yeah, I love October. New Super Mario Bros. Uh, I have played that actually. Or no, I played. 3D World or whatever. Um, I have them. 90s anime hair will always a special place in your heart. I wish the hair was more 90s. I just don't really know how to do that, you know. Sadly. Uh, in in Japan. 7-Eleven. Hello, JJ. You love PC-98 art? Me too. It's super cool. In Japan, uh, 7-Eleven around... October, Halloween time. They have this... Diabolically... good. <laughs> what am I freaking Tom... Uh, Tom who, who is it who said that? Not Tom Hanks. Uh, John Travolta. You guys ever seen the thing where he's like... Presenting an award to Adina Menzel. And he goes... The... Wickedly talented Adele Dazim. <laughs> you guys have never seen that? He totally butchers her name. <laughs> Adele Dazim. <laughs> That's how I felt just now. Go watch it. Go search uh, John Travolta Adele Dazim. <laughs> But yeah, diabolically good, uh... Pumpkin pudding. Got a question? Oh, shoot. Go for it. Uh, and it's so amazingly good. Kabocha pudding. I'll show you guys. How is her last name pronounced? Her name? Okay. Her name is not that at all. Edina Menzel is her name. Not Adele Dazim. Hi, Galactica Phantom. Have I seen you got mail? Uh, actually, no. No, I have not. But I know someone who... That is her favorite movie. So maybe I should watch it. Hugs, please. Oh, of course! Oh. You think it's an Amicore movie? Who else is in that movie? Oh, I watched a really amazing movie recently, and I don't think I mentioned it on stream. Uh, it's called... Phantom of the Paradise. Now, it's from... It's early 70s, so... It's, you know, there's some stuff in it that's like of its time, but I still really recommend it. It's really, really good. Really excellent. You watched it last night? Yeah, yeah, you mentioned it. No, it's really, really great. It's so cool. But there's a couple of, you know... 
you know not so nice words in it so if that's something that you're you know uh have an aversion to then but it i thought it was amazing uh what was i gonna google oh yeah 7 11 7 7 hold on 7 kabocha Yeah, it's gory. It's kind of... It's very amazing though. I think it was like 74. And... It must have cost a lot of money. It's really, really cool looking. Okay, you guys ready for this? To see the 7-Eleven Kabocha Pudding. You prefer 812? Well, I don't even think that's real. <laughs> so... Uh, I need a good picture. This is fine. It doesn't actually look that impressive, to be honest, but God is so freaking good. And it was like always sold out. I could like never get it. Remember to turn off BGM? Why am I turning off my BGM? <laughs> that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Mm. So freaking good. Yeah, it's very, very gorgeous texture. Small portion. Looks like a cup of mustard. No, it doesn't. It's the color of kabocha. Let you just get... Oh, I got goosebumps from that one. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, we're almost there, you guys. Oh yeah, it was a great sneeze. It felt awesome. Hi, little boy. Finally starting to cool down. Yes! Oh my god. Well, it's raining right now in in my part of Ami Planet, but uh really really looking forward to the fall weather, you guys. I love it. Uh Well, actually, it might have stopped raining by now. I just took a look at the window. I can't tell if it's still raining. It's a little windy. Uh, no thunder. I'm hoping the rain is still going for uh my ASMR stream because that would be nice. This ten month summer. Well, it has not been that long for me, but yeah, I'm ready. I'm definitely ready for the fall. Spider legs. Spider legs will be easy. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I didn't even finish the hair. What am I doing? How's the Ami Mobile doing these days? Ami Mobile's doing fine. Uh oh. Check engine light came on, but it's probably nothing. <laughs> Do loud and scare comfort me? I mean, depends on how loud. Yeah, it's probably nothing. I'll see if it's still on in like a week. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I checked the engine. The engine's still there. Needs an oil change? Uh, no, I don't think it needs an oil change. Any car stories? Well, I told you guys my best car story already, which is that the Flintstone candies that my parents had in their car. <laughs> 
that I, was, I, I thought would last forever, but they did not. Still no luck finding them. I mean, I didn't really try outside of the stream the other day, but I don't think I'm gonna find them, you guys. They're not vitamins. They're not vitamins. They're just real candy. Like normal candy. Heart candy. Hello, uh, Micah. Mika? Micah? Hello, Fizzle Fickle. Oh, God, that sneeze was great. <laughs> Still thinking about that sneeze. Uh, uh. Okay. Danny. It's hard to make spider legs look fluffy in, in pixel art. I will say that. I'm just gonna like freehand it and then I'll go over it after. Help it with the coloring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I will, I will. But I mean, just like the outline. I had it perfect, and then I had to, you know, resize it, and now it's kind of not so perfect. At least you want to run your hands through the flop? Do it, do it. Brushy, brushy, brushy. <laughs> but if you use a layer, wait, you want some? Bald spider legs. So that's probably what will happen. Were they Albert's fruit chews Flintstone flavors? No, they weren't chews. They were hard candy. Like uh, like the strawberry candy, basically. That that variety of hard candy. Am I gonna use dithering? Yeah, when I when I add the color. You want them bald? What the frick? I think they're cute fluffy. <laughs> it's time for you to sleep. Okay, Akatsuki, have a good sleep. Thank you for coming. Thank you again for the gifted membership. Appreciate ya. Love the floofy leg. Yeah. The strawberry hard candy with the straw soft strawberry chew in the center. Yeah, I love those. Even though they're like grandma candy. But these ones didn't have a chewy center, the Flintstone ones. Hi Pink Dragon. Do the meow and I'm dubious. I wonder if you guys are hearing things. The ghost meow? I did. What the frick? What the flip? Mind flip! <laughs> Pocket where there's the ultimate granny candy. What can they evolve when they evolve past the rhythm? Fruit wrapper candies. I like weirdos.
No, I'm not gonna do it on purpose. Do one on purpose. Do 50 year old mints and butterscotch thing in a jar on a table? No, I, cause I would. Cause they would be there for approximately. Uh, a day. And I would have them all eaten. I'm not that kind of grandy, you guys. I can't resist just eating candy that's in front of me. <laughs> I made you a tray of cookies, but I ate them. I made you a cookie, but I ate it. I remember those old drawings, they were like... Like that. I made you a cookie. But I ate it. And they'd have like an umbrella. <laughs> or whatever. The MySpace stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? That's what it looked like. Don't monk on me. I didn't invent it. Although, did you guys ever... <laughs> did you guys ever, like, draw creepy stuff in the margins of your, like, homework or, or, or you know, schoolwork at school? To... Well, I don't know. Maybe... If some of you guys are young, maybe they use laptops. For everything nowadays, your Chromebooks or whatever, but... Back in my day, we wrote stuff on paper, and... Sometimes I would draw creepy stuff... That I knew was gonna be... That I knew was gonna be... Uh... Handed into the teacher just to freak them out. <laughs> Arms coming from the edges, or eyes... Yeah, stuff like that, stuff like that. <laughs> of course, yeah! Get the teacher into an A. <laughs> they would have punished you for that or tried to have you arrested. What? What kind of crazy school did you go to? It was capital punishment. Mostly shapes and spirals. Those are scary. Hi, Shiki. Getting all the cool textbook with all the notes and drawings and other lines turned to page 78 for something cool. Oh my god, yeah, they're really old textbooks. And then it'd be like something profane. <laughs> it would lead you on a it would lead you on this whole journey through through all, all the different textbook pages and then it would just be that, you know. At the end. Drawing lots of ten mustaches on people in your textbooks. I'm sure I did something similar at some point. <laughs> page 60, upper corner, page 34, under his chin, page 12, poo. Guys, you're all around. Stick figures and some poor attempts at animals. I used to draw like. something like this. Way before Slender Man. <laughs> Your art folder had a xenomorph! Weird stick figures and messed up stuff, you were weird. Well, weird all. <laughs> Me when I see Ami, what does that mean? Salad Finger, kinda. I think it's definitely before, not way before Salad Fingers, but it's definitely before Salad Fingers, too. The feeling of rust. Against my salad fingers. 
I ever had textbook that been eaten a little bit by moss? Probably, but I probably didn't know that's what it was. I probably just thought someone tried to... A student tried to eat it. Which would have been totally understandable for me, because... I love trying to eat stuff. <laughs> Your obsession was turning stacks of note cards into flip books. Yeah, like the Animorph books. Yeah, a student like me. No, I wouldn't put that in my mouth because I would be afraid of it being dirty. I wouldn't put something in my mouth that I knew like many other people had handled. Because I was also like... As a bit of like a germaphobe. Too. I, I was a really messed up child. <laughs> I mean, I'm still messed up, but you know. I was like unmanaged, kind of messed up back then. Uh, hi, Chill Sloth! Do you remember the Newgrounds days in Flash games like Fancy Pants Adventure? Oh yeah, I played that at one point. Batteries fresh from the package only. Yeah, the 9 volt. Well, you don't put those in your mouth, you just lick them. Uh. And that makes your tongue funny. <laughs> Oh, I don't have Pixel Perfect on. That's why I'm having such a hard time here. There we go. Looking batteries just to feel alive again. Do I got one around? I think there's one in my electric acoustic, but I probably shouldn't lick it. I probably... I probably shouldn't do that. Don't enable me, you guys. You guys. <laughs> what? It feels cool and it doesn't hurt you, probably. Let me Google it, actually. God is licking my bowl. Oh. You probably have to keep batteries around. Oh, yes, I have every kind of battery. Just don't lick the liquid in them. Oh my god, if I even got to the liquid in them, I'd be so scared to touch that. Probably. <laughs> you just fill your head with dots of coconut cream. Oh! Yes. Uh, it is okay to lick? Oh, <laughs> It is safe. But if you don't keep your tongue on it for a long period of time, no injury will occur. Okay, that's enough for me. I'm about to get a battery. Hold on. My electric acoustic, one of them is right here. I'm not still a battery laker, but I'm gonna do it right now. Don't put my tongue on there. Cause I have one on my disposal right now, so why not? It's the Energizer Max. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. I'm scared! <laughs> oh, oh, no, no. Costco. That 
That was really spicy. <laughs> Jeez Louise. You can't even I mean that that that. Why would you? You guys are gonna try and tell me that you've never put your tongue on a 9 volt battery. If you haven't, you should because it feels crazy. <laughs> And no, we should not. Google just told me it's fine. You haven't. Where was your guys' childhood? Back in my day, we didn't have, you know, smartphones. We had to get our kicks from like in a nine volt battery. <laughs> Google is wrong about literally everything. Okay, well, how about some anecdotal evidence? Okay, I've licked plenty of 9 volt batteries and I turned out. <laughs> A little bit wacky. I won't lie to you guys, but I don't think it had anything to do with the batteries. <laughs> And I'm a great streamer now. <laughs> I like plenty of batteries, so that explains a lot. What does it explain, huh? Oh, this is looking really good. Alright, uh... The best! Aww. You've eaten lead paint and turned out not abnormal? Well, I would not recommend that. That's definitely highly toxic. Don't lick lead paint. It could be like long term as well. Hello, don't shoot. I'm a human. I'm gonna just confirm licking batteries will turn you into a spider. No, I didn't. Don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> uh... Um, I would like to duplicate this layer. Where the frick is that? Option. Oh, right there. <laughs> put bad. I didn't put batteries in my mouth. I put my tongue on the tip of a battery. It's different. You guys, think about what putting something in your mouth means. It means you put it in your mouth. I didn't put the battery in my mouth. Don't tell lies, it's not good. Buckles. I'm not wrong. I mean, an electro boom collab. I don't know what that is. That's extremely mom sounding while well, I am your spider mom and you should not tell lies. A YouTuber that does electronic stuff. Oh. Oh god. gonna leave because I like the battery, right? I'm just checking. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I worry, you know? <laughs> About 
the silly stuff. Uh, <clears throat> all right, let's put a ruler, a symmetry ruler. On this cup. Mm, thank you guys. <laughs> I know I'm a silly lady. Of course I am. You heard switch cartridges are coated with denatonium benzoate. Yeah, I, I, I like those. Hi, Kali. It's not good. Don't do it. Doesn't taste good. Tell you, yeah, of course I did. Okay, because I'm high robot. Um, because listen, if they tell you they put a bittering agent on it, of course I'm gonna be curious about that. Hi, exalt. It's like impossible to not, you know, want to lick it. <laughs> A while back, you tweeted about a salt lick. I couldn't find the small cubes on Amazon. I probably shouldn't have a salt lick, though. As much as I would like it... It's like, too much salt. <laughs> Don't try toxic waste candy. Oh, I've had that. Uh, I ran it under the tap, so it wasn't as, as sour. And then I just ate the delicious candy inside. <laughs> Cause I can't handle really sour stuff. Hello, Tangentarines! Reverse psychology info exactly is reverse psychology. Uh, hello, underdog! Underdog Banzai! Hello! Oh, goodness, how I say this? To I'm not even gonna guess, because I'm gonna guess wrong. Hi, Chief! I love your new cover. I'm gonna replay. Thank you! Thank you so much. Ryota! Ryota! Ryota, hello! Ryota. <clears throat> Well, this martini was so hard to draw, and now I have to like basically do it all over again because I I scaled the martini. Ami toxin batteries. I don't know what that would charge. Is my chat broken? Oh no, there you guys. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. There you guys are. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. God, what's wrong with me today? <laughs> Why am I extra needy today? I don't know. Overcharge my brain. Yeah. Oi. Good night, Ria. A slut not streaming for one day does to a mother meower.
bam 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 Hello, uh, Intenius Verdum. That sounds like a smart name. Why are you so smart? <laughs> What's the deal? The doc diagnosed abnormally high amitoxin absorption, larger doses I needed. You're not supposed to tell your doctor. They're gonna come and they're gonna, uh, you know, abduct me. You're not smart, you got a degree in history? Well, I also have a degree in history. <laughs> sort of, believe it or not. Uh, you thought the drink was animated? Maybe it is. Uh, and, uh, it required a lot of memorization, so that's a kind of smart. Uh, hi, Dan Prime. I mean, my degree is kind of specific, so I won't get into it, but it is technically... I technically... have a history degree. Uh, I'm gonna put this in a different color, just so it's a little easier to see. No, no, not our hi it's not our history. It's not. It's like history, history. <laughs> yeah, it's because I'm a bazillion years old. I, I know I know everything. By default. This is like a little lemon swirl. A little lemon peel swirl, by the way. Unofficial degree in video game history, yes. Very unofficial, but I do, yeah. That's true. Well, it's not gonna stay blue. But Copia's history, no. For things to be history, they had to have happened, Hinge. <laughs> Because it's going over the lip of the cup. It's not a mojito, it's a martini. There we go. Alright, I just got the eyes left, so I'll do my best. Have I ever heard of, had a martini? Actually... No. So here I got so far. Oh my gosh. Really excited to get to the coloring. Oh, I need to do the corset piercings too, but those will be simple. Alright, let's make a new layer and I will attempt to do these eyes. Now these eyes got real messed up when I had to rescale the picture, but let me just get some... Inspiration real quick. Okay. Uh. <sighs> you add a ton of blush with no eyes and it would fit. <laughs> Yosha! Always so energetic. Alright, I'm gonna try my best. Stop. 
why are there so many PC98 game covers that are blush -able? Because there's a lot of... Spicy stuff on the PC98. It was the place to go. By the way... Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, hi, Corva. Uh, I appreciate you guys giving me your time and hanging out today. Uh, and... If you just got here... We are doing some PC-98... Trying to imitate the PC-98 style of... Art. Trying. Is the key word here. Um, hi, Spy Chunky. Do I have a full palette of PC-98 compatible colors for reference? So, there's a lot of PC-98 compatible colors. I think it's 256. <laughs> So, I'm not going to... I couldn't find actually a palette that was... Specifically that, that I could like load into a sprite. Um... So, I think I'm just gonna go for... Just whatever colors, and I'll just stick to 16 of them. And it'll be close enough, kind of thing. Covers my favorite rendition of the song. Thank you so much. Thank you. Would I ever buy a PC-98? You know what? Uh, I'm not really... I haven't really gotten into home PCs too much. I only have the Commodore VIC-20. And I haven't even done much with that. Uh, I'm, I'm, there's probably... A more... Beginner-friendly one. The Zorn palette? What is that? That game, Zorn. All that's coming up is Toho. <laughs> How many PC 98s are there in North America? Oh, I totally know that. Uh, <laughs> uh, 50. Amigo would be cool. Probably zero. It's definitely not zero. I'm sure plenty of people have a PC-98. I don't, I don't think they were like particularly rare or anything. Now, can I just do a cheeky little... This. And this. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> Maybe you can install OBS and Steam on it. Oh yeah, totally. Always a chatter. I mean, if it works, it works, you know. What would you do with the Vic Twenty if it were working? Uh, play games on it. I think. Hello, Operacio. Uh, that's I'm mean, cheating. Yeah. The Zorn palette has no blue, so it's quite warm. Just yellow, red, and black primarily. Oh, I don't I don't know if I'd be able to work with that with my specific color palette. I got a lot of, you know, lavender. It would definitely be wacky though, you're right about that. Uh, hi Mauricio! Alright, uh Yeah, I'm glad you guys really like duvet. Also, if you're just getting here, I would appreciate if you guys checked out my duvet cover. <laughs> it's pinned in the chat. Uh. <clears throat> oh, and then the eyebrows. I kind of went crazy with them. Kind of made them real thick. And like this stream, and don't forget to comment and subscribe! Actually, please do subscribe. I am trying to get to... Uh, 
never been one to care much for milestones, but I thought it would be cool to get to 20 cable for my two year anniversary, which is November 7th. Uh, and I'm pretty close to 18k right now, so i gonna listen to another eight or so times since this dream's over. Yeah! If you had an alternate hair color, what would it be? Actually, I got some, uh, uh, you know, fan art with my duvet cover sounds like <laughs> it totally does. No, not a literal duvet cover. Um, my, uh, what was I gonna say? I got some fan art that had like some, some, some like silver. I thought that would be cool. Love the cover and the intro and you rewatch it and pay attention to all the little video details. Yeah, it's not really that crazy to be honest. There's not like that much small details, but I tried to make it cool. And you know, inspired by uh, the show a lot. Next, I think I would like to challenge... Well, I already have another cover in the works, actually. Um, so not next, but... Um... Hi, Mia! That looks super good on you. Thank you! Yeah, I love the thick eyebrows, actually. So not next, next, but I'm going to be, uh... I would love to do a cover of Ride on Shooting Star by, uh... The Pillows from Hootie Kuri. I love Furi Kuri, so... That'd be cool. Ride on shooting star It's a real good song. Love the pillows. Um, hello, uh, Ren. What does that flow see all mean? Furi Kuri! <laughs> And I would definitely want to get art of myself. Are you gonna do the, the Railgun song? You know, I really only know the chords of that, to be honest. Um, I want to get art of myself on like a, a moped. Or a Vespa, yeah. I don't know the difference between a moped and a Vespa. <laughs> I think that would be super cool. Found a couple artists on Skeb who have done Vespas before. So... I have to wait for them to open up their request. Hello, Suda! I don't shooting star. I should rewatch Fudi Kuri. It's been many years. That's was just a oh, it's a brand of mopeds. I see. Railgun is in a certain scientific railgun. Well, that's the show that the that's the what the song is from, yeah. Only my railgun can shoot any monster. How do I end up on a different layer? Oh no. Well, guess let's do this. There we go. Fixed. You know any other songs from a certain magical in index? No, I never, I've never, I've never seen either of the, the shows. You know what? Did you plan to do for watch alongs next month? Uh, yes, actually, I wanted to do uh Hellraiser, some Hellraiser movies. And I think we wanted to watch uh, some of the Alien movies as well. 
if that's of any interest to you guys. I've never seen the Alien movies. Uh, I love Hel the Hellraiser movies, though. So I would love to do that. Yeah, I just have no knowledge of the course somehow. <laughs> You've never seen Alien? Honestly, me too. But that's fine because that means I get to experience it for the first time with you guys, and that'll be fun. You haven't seen Kill a Kill by Dream Maver cover of Ambiguous or Ragulous theme someday. The only uh, Kill a Kill songs I know is the. Is that from Kill a Kill? I've got to find out who killed my dad. Big guy. You know better. I'm putting you in timeout. I've got to find out who killed my dad. <laughs> I thought that was so silly. Don't lose your way. I always confuse it and go into... Wait, is it, is it a different song? Until my blood is dry Is that the same song or am I mixing up two Hiroyuki Solano songs? <laughs> it's the same song? Oh, okay, okay, okay. my bubbly. Hold on. I've got to find out who killed my dad. <laughs> Cold, no. <laughs> I can't. The thing is, that's the thing. I can't put like drinks in my fridge right now because then, especially canned stuff, because it just freezes. It's like dire, dire streets. Y'all. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> there should be a dial you can turn down. I did, I did. I think it's just broken. It's like down as far as it can go. about these eyes, you guys. You guys, eyes, you guys. <clears throat> what is this? Go away. We shouldn't be here either. Oh, yes, it should. Never mind. <laughs> You guys like it? Love it? Okay. Alright. Give another lash here, just cause. Oh, 
Okay, uh, hello, Alice Pudding. Just try turning it up. Oh, you think it's like opposite land? <laughs> you have a talent for eyes, you think so? I feel like I'm bad at drawing eyes. I always end up having to redo them many times. I think we can stick with that for now, at least. I don't know about this eye right here, how I feel about it, but... We'll keep on trucking. Uh, oh, of course up here. Thanks. Bum, 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 bum. Easy and... I have a curve. God, I'm so hardcore and epic and cool. The line art. Oh, I gotta. Oh. <laughs> Guys, your drawing aren't very PCI style, much more detailed and pretty. Oh, thank you. I mean, it's it's different than what I would normally draw for eyes. I tried to imitate it like a little bit, but it's it's hard. very tall. Yeah. Some of them. Not all of them, though. I mean... Let's see here. Th these are pretty normal. And... Hi, McBaseball and Karin. And... Uh, these are pretty normal. They're quite big, but... Now these are tall. <laughs> Hemming and hawing. That's serious. I know. I know. I <laughs> the Chuck Norris one. I cannot get over that. It's called Chuck Norris. Chakra de Chuck Norris. <laughs> Super cool. Okay, uh... Alright, let's do the... Mm, mm, flatten... And... No, not flatten. Hi, Lyrical Jesus! Merge down. Okay. Colors. So. Let's take a look at the skin on some of these. I think I will use like white for the highlight color. Because my skin is quite pale. So basically this is like three different colors. Maybe I'll steal from this lady. Although my my skin is quite like pink toned, you know, very pale and quite pink. So maybe I'll grab this and kind of switch it to like. Uh, how do I do this? Bring it a little bit more on the pink side.
pink skin. I mean, it is. I mean, I'm very, very pale, but it is more on the pink side. You get that tone diluting orange with white? Oh, I don't need to do any of that. I'm just gonna go swoop. And then I'm gonna go swoop. Yeah, I like that. Now, I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm doing it on one layer at the moment. Because uh, I think it's just gonna be less complicated in the long run. I forgot to attach the neck to anything. Okay! <clears throat> Hello, hello. Uh, now we got this, 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 this. Somewhere later tonight, I probably said it a thousand times, but in case you're just getting here and that's something you're interested in, I'm gonna be singing lullabies. It's a lot of skin. I really wanted to do skin shading. Yeah. Um. Hello, uh, Dragoof and Cordro. All right. So now what I can do is I can go select color range. I can select just this color. And I can... I'm actually gonna copy it onto a new layer. There we go. Uh... Alright, what am I doing? What am I doing? Let's do the shading first. So I'm going to... Get a darker pink here. Oh, God, what is going on? Hold on. <laughs> you don't have the tablet asset thingy today? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> the lightness down a teeny bit. Maybe like this. Let's add this to our palette as well. Ah, I'm looking a little too orange, baby. Come on, I'll just go with it. So it's going to... You guys, you guys are going to see it's going to like overlap. Uh, some of the lines a little bit, but I will fix it after. Uh, good night, Indecisive. Thank you for coming. Have a good rest. Gonna overlap. I'm doing this in an insane way. Sorry. <laughs> I just based. Okay, so I'm starting with this, and now I'm gonna attempt some dithering. You guys ready? Over here. So I put my brush to one pixel. And I'm gonna do this. And I'm going to do a selection around it. And I'm gonna make sure I leave 
this one pixel border just on one side or else it's not gonna tile properly. And I'm gonna hit control B and that's gonna make me a new brush. And then... So this is the brush when I was practicing that I found the kind of work the best. Because... I will show you guys in a second. You can kind of layer it in a unique way. Uh, but we have to change it to pattern align to destination. And now... We'll be able to layer in a unique way. Good night, Hawk White! Like so... So now you can make certain parts more dense. Right? So there, we've got some nice dithering going. And you can do it even more like this. Right, and then... I can select this, do an invert, and then... There we go. Right? Makes a lot of difference right away towards the PC-98 style, right? It really makes it, like, instant PC-98. Uh... So are you doing the anti-aliasing on the lines? I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I'll have to see what colors I can use. Also, I don't even know if we'll get that far today. Okay. Now, let's do white. So I'm gonna merge this down, make a new layer. Now we can go back to the circular brush again, just the regular one. And I will do some highlight. Maybe more towards this side, since the shadows are more over here. Giving up on the art or singing, which one which would you choose? Why would I have to choose that? <laughs> I'm so sad. I mean Why would I have to choose that? <laughs> singing is way more important to me though. But I would never have to choose that, so. Nice and shiny. Giving up Skeb or Uber Eats. Can I use other food delivery services? <laughs> if so, Uber Eats. Nice and shiny. Yeah, baby. I love it. Alright, now we can do... This leg. No fish nets. I think that would overcomplicate things too much. There's already so much going on with the dithering and... Whatnot. Let me put my pen pressure on for this. Uh, wait, what? Where's my pressure controls? Are they?
Selected? No, <laughs> I don't. There's supposed to be a little thing that looks like a pen with like a circle around the tip. That will allow me to, to put on pen pressure, but it's not there. What's going on? I mean, it's not a huge deal, but. I would like to have it. Okay. The A spray just randomly. <laughs> randomly not having the features that I'm used to. Uh, what kind of spider is your design based off, if any? Uh, so. It's not really based off any specific spider, but I truly believe. I am a jumping spider. Sometimes the Wacom drivers get funky and need to restart, reinstall. Yes, but the, that shouldn't... That would make the pen pressure stuff not work, but the icon should still be there. Actually, there's a way I can test this. Let me open... Uh, Clip Studio Paint. Hold on. Thank you guys for coming today. There's so many people here. I'm not used to this for, for art streams. <laughs> Thank you guys. I'm glad it's interesting. Jumping spider, spinning buckle. Saw a wolf spider with an abdomen covered in spiderlings in front of you. Oh, that would be cursed art. <laughs> I was gonna say, that'd be cool art, but no, it would not. No, it's definitely a sprite because it's working perfectly fine in Clip Studio Paint. The drivers are working. So it's not my... it's not my driver. Hyper Angle! There's something going on with a sprite. It's just not showing for some reason. Something in here, maybe? No. So... Hmm. Mm. You have a sprite and want to get into it? A sprite, rather? Yeah, I'm probably not the greatest, you know, person to follow. For that sort of thing. Whatever, I'll just go on without it. You know, I'm still pretty new to Ace Bright myself, but... Alright, this looks great. Um... Uh, hey, Ami, love you. Love you guys, too! Thank you so much for hanging out. This has been fun. I probably have to wrap up soon, though, because I have another stream later. I, I hate that I never get as much progress done as I want with these streams, these art streams. I always vastly underestimate the amount of time things take. <laughs> My bad. You've learned a few things watching my art streams? Well, thank you. I try and, you know, explain things as best as possible when I'm doing that sort of thing. 
talking about how much concentration art requires. No, for sure. Yeah, you guys, I'm usually not nearly this slow when I draw, so... Let that kind of, you know, set the precedent for... How much more epic I am at gaming when I'm not streaming. <laughs> uh... Got to account for chat distraction and food chat a bit. Mm -hmm. Cat distraction too, yeah. <laughs> distraction for me, myself being a cat. Meow. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I want there to be a little bit less here, though. Okay. <laughs> My chat is actually broken right now, I'm pretty sure. Or else you guys wouldn't be all like... Whatever's happening right now. Why can't I use this color? Why? Change colors. What is happening? Totally broken today. <sighs> Irene, what is happening? Has anyone ever experienced this? Color won't change. Hi, my God. You missed getting the light. I miss you guys too. And I know it's definitely broken though, because the hearts were going crazy. Thank you guys <laughs> for letting me know you're still there. You guys being bonkable. I just made a new brush with the different colors. It let me do it before. I don't know what the frick that was all about. You all behaved? Hmm. Bang. Oh, 
I wish Ace Bright would just cooperate with me though. Having pen pressure would be super helpful. Looks great so far, thank you. Someone tell you why there's a crab emoji? That's a great question. Can somebody answer that for a ride? Eh? I'm back on in getting so envious how good you are with drawing. Well, you know. Gotta practice. I've been drawing for many, 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 many years. And I'm still only at this level. Yeah, because everyone thinks I look like a crab, but I don't. When Ami's full models on screen, you'll understand. No, they won't. <laughs> Hello, Andres. I, and that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, like... Consider how long I've actually been drawing, which is a long time. Hello, chair! Cute! Thank you! Which is a long, long time, and, you know... This is how far I've gotten. of references. Emu try to emulate styles you like. Study proportions, but I don't know. I don't think... You know. I don't necessarily think I'm qualified to answer that question. <laughs> Artists in uh in the chat actually they probably have some really good tips. I 
Now, this type of shading... I learned to do because... I used to... None of them are still around anymore. But back in the earlier days of the internet... I used to draw using oekaki tools. Do you guys know what an oekaki tool is? Uh, an oekaki board, rather. So they were like uh, an online application in browser that you could. Uh, it was just like a in browser art program. Usually pretty basic, but um, one of the one there's a couple of different kinds, but one of them. Uh, was... Had like a half-tone tool that you could use. So I used to try and do this type of shading... Using that half-tone tool. And they had lots of different densities of half-tone... Brushes. So I would go through the densities and just kind of do what I'm doing now. No, no, no. Basically, you know, you just post them on whatever site hosted it, and then I would kind of be done with it. They're really cool, though. None of the boards I used are like still on the internet because that was a long, long time ago. Before I had like a, a, a you know, a drawing tablet, even. Well, way before I had a drawing tablet. There's that story for you guys. In case you haven't had enough... Uh, Ami is a boomer for today. <laughs> this art features pit? I mean, barely. Barely. a little bit much. I'm gonna get rid of some of this. See, now it's changing the color. Now it's working. Very strange. Should the free space be food talk or snort? Definitely snort. Definitely. I mean, food talk is probably gonna happen. But snort will... Undeniably happen.
Because you guys always make me laugh and giggle. did. Hello there, Shadify. I definitely snorted today. Have I not? No way. There we go. A few times, yeah, that's what I thought. You haven't noticed while well, last class, you know. <laughs> I do it so often, you guys will become immune. Maybe. Phew! <laughs> this is looking super cool. Okay, I'm actually not done with the skin, but I wanted to do try a little bit on the bunny suit. Uh before I stop today. Cause I wanted to try and do this kind of shading. So they have a red, a darker red. Maybe I should do red. That works with casino, right? Just do this red. You can save colors by using the hair. Oh! True. Wait, that's a good point. Yeah, let's try pink then. Save colors. What? I didn't know you could do that. That's pretty cool. That might come in handy. I had no clue that that was possible. Oh, that's such a pretty color. So, on the skin, I did like a lot of dithering because I wanted it to look really nice and smooth and soft. This we will go a little bit less crazy with. But we'll still have some. Okay, so a darker pink. Add this to the palette. change it also. The cloth still lacks shading. I mean, yeah, I barely... I like li literally just filled the base color in. It's pretty dang simple. Love the dithering. Thank you! Alright, there we go. Selected, but it's like so distracting. I really wish I had pen pressure. 
I really gotta wrap up soon. I still have to eat. Try and just do a tiny bit of this. Before my next stream, I have to eat is what I meant to say. I always can never remember understand how to do the shading here. <laughs> like, theoretically, there should be more shadow here, right? Hello, TRS! <laughs> She gets a lot of sun at the beach when she's not... Does she really? I feel like I made it pretty pale. <laughs> but maybe not quite as pale... As I actually am. But it's always so hard when making art. Like, I want to be able to see. You know. funky here, right? Be like this. Yeah, I think JD did one like that. can't go too crazy. I gotta wrap up. <laughs> Keep saying that, but... Here I am. Fuck me like a hurricane. Just 
do a little bit of this dithering and then I'll wrap up. I swear is it. It's looking super cute. Thank you! I'm a professional dither, basically, pretty much. I mean, there's way other... This is just the most basic of basic dithering patterns, you know? There's some really cool ones. I might try something different for the, for the spider legs to try and give that, like, fluffy kind of look. I haven't taken a bathroom break this whole stream. <laughs> it's unprecedented. I'm gonna wait because I'm almost done. RB one, so you guys are still able to act silly. I just didn't go to the bathroom. Stop there for today. All right. Yeah. We got a little bit of a taste of the dithering, but you show that work in progress and say you were done for the day, and then an hour is slowly <laughs> finished the piece. I will probably do more work on this tonight because I'm really, really liking the way it's looking. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. I gotta save. Let's oh No, no ogling. Allowed. Hi. <laughs> I gotta save this. I haven't yet. Job to the guys. Very, very nice. Uh, I'm very happy with how things are turning out. Thank you guys so much. Um, once again, please listen to my duet cover, okay? And I have another stream in like an hour and a half. An ASMR stream where I'm gonna sing lullabies. So I have to skedaddle so I can eat before that stream so I don't have like my, my tummy not making noises for the ASMR stream. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, you guys. So thank you guys so much for coming today. Thank you to all my re uh, uh, huh? regulars and irregulars and everyone who stopped by for the first time. Appreciate you guys giving me a chance. Thank you so much to all of my uh, 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 VOD watchers and VOD commenters and all the chatters and lurkers. And thank you so much to all my dream viewers, buckles, spider links, and everybody who gifted memberships. And uh, donated and joined the memberships and renewed your memberships today, you guys. I really appreciate that. You guys are very, very generous to me. Thank you so much. And I will see you in a little bit. But if you're not into ASMR or whatever and I won't see you later, then I will see you tomorrow for... What the heck am I playing? Evil! Right? I think. Evo! Yeah! We're gonna play more Evo tomorrow. Gonna be a dinosaur. Alright, you guys! Thank you so much for coming. See you in a bit. Otsukare-san, Mia! Oyasu, Mia! Bye-bye!